Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. Hi, I'm Hannah, a mum of four, ranging from 16 years down to a three-year-old, and we live as a family of six in the southeast of England. And I thought I'll just put that out there because I've got a lot of new subscribers and um, you might not know who I am. You might just have watched one or two of my videos and think this lady likes shopping and days in life and all that lot. But um, I thought I'd just give that little intro for you. Um, there will be a and a coming very shortly so you can get to know me a little bit more. Now that the kids are all back at school, I can do a bit more of a personal content without little ones and noisy ones running around the house. But for today, I have a home bargains haul for you. And um, for this haul, I borrowed Nathan's sharky bag. Okay, he uses it as a kite running around the front room. Nathan is my three-year-old autistic son, if you didn't know already. He loves things that he shouldn't really play with but we surprise him he's quite safe with this he just runs around with it like a kite with the handles but um not that you really need to know that i've used his bag okay in here i have loads of stuff that i bought from home bargains a lot of stuff that we needed but didn't need shouldn't have bought but i had a teenager with me and then had a Steve with me as well, so that pushes the bill up a little bit more as well. But Steve is my husband, he is a big kid. But let's get on and show you what we got from Home Bargain, shall we? Uh, like I said, I did have Chloe with me, she is my 16 year old. She has just started college and she wanted a few bits. So she always comes with mummy and knows how to get around me and put things in the trolley without me knowing or saying, mummy, can I have this? So she does. And the first thing she put in the trolley was this travel mug, ready for on the colder days, so she can have it on the bus with hot chocolate or something in on those cold days, like I've just said. Quite reasonable, I won't mind her having that. Then she said, can I have some chewing gum, mum? I'm like, okay, go get some chewing gum. She come back with Reese's peanut butter cups. Yeah, they look like chewing gum. Reese's peanut butter cups again. So the mini ones and then the big ones. What else did she come back with? Mints. And then in here somewhere, there is chewing gum. <laughs> she so knows how to get around me. But, um... Before we got there, we went down the beauty aisle, like health hygiene beauty aisle. We needed some more shampoo for Hayley because for last couple of weeks, her shampoo isn't really doing nothing for her, for her hair. I think hormones are kind of kicking in a little bit and she's entering the um, teenage stage. So she's getting greasy hair a lot. So I got her the clay shampoo, like what Chloe uses. And she will hopefully get on top of the greasiness. Then I got some fly spray. We've already got, I bought two actually. One's already in use in the kitchen, and then we've got this one. A lot of flies around at the moment, and it's doing my nutting, so I've got some fly spray. Yeah. We've got waters. One has already been taken by the darling Chloe for college. We've got the raspberry and apple. It is a four pack and they are under a pound. So they are cheaper than all supermarkets for a four pack of waters. I always get water from home bargains. Then we have something else that we wanted. These little mini chocolate brownies, individually wrapped. They'll probably go in the packed lunch cupboard. I'm just frying it all on the floor. And then I'll deal with it when I finish recording. Something I put in the trolley for myself, pink and white, absolutely love these. And what's great is um, it's a marshmallow with wafers either side, as you can see. I think there's too much wafer, so I always peel one off and put it back in the packet for the rubbish. But Nathan comes along and he eats that, 
that bit of wafer. He doesn't like the marshmallow, but he'll eat the wafer. So it's a win-win with us. I eat what I want and then he'll finish it off. So really there for me and him, really. Fun and games there. Then Chloe saw these. They are pom bears. They are new and they are barbecue flavour. Now my whole family love barbecue, except me. I'm not too keen on it. But they all love barbecue crisps, barbecue sauce, barbecue chicken and all that lot. So she wanted to try them. And they were two for three pounds with another packet of pom bears. So she just got the original. So they will go in the crisp box ready for cat lunches. Then Steve got these. He was doing his nut because these weren't in the two for three pound offer. But then I said, look at the price of them, Steve. And he's like, oh yeah, they're only £1.49 anyway. So it would have worked out cheaper to buy two of these and buy only 2p, but it still would have been cheaper than that offer anyway. So he just got the rib and saucy. I've got to hide them from Nathan, otherwise he'll eat all them before Steve gets hold of them. Then we have a couple of bits for Nathan. We've got these. These are going to go by for Christmas or his birthday. His birthday is next month or Christmas in December, obviously. Now these are gorgeous, fluffy, velvet dinosaur pyjamas. He had some pyjamas like this last year, like the texture, and he absolutely loved them. I got him age four to five because he has had a bit of a growth spurt. Long sleeve pyjamas, and then you've got the trousers underneath, and they were only six pounds. They had girly versions as well, but Nathan's obviously a boy and he likes his dinosaurs, so we've got them. They're gonna that's gonna go in the Christmas slash birthday box. Then we have Chloe's chewing gum. There we go. There's her chewing gum. Then we have something else for Nathan. This is so cute. It is a tray with a bean bag because he does sit on the sofa with mummy and daddy sometimes and eats his dinner. And normally he has to have a cushion on his lap because otherwise his plate goes everywhere. But this is a tray with a zip on bean bag. And I thought that would be absolutely gorgeous for him. Little one, obviously us adults can get a bigger one. This is a mini kids one. They did have girly ones as well, so if you have a girl, that would be fine for you. And that was, I think that was about a fiver, so it weren't too expensive either. Then what do we have? Something I seem like I'm always buying in Home Bargains, a dustpan and brush. Seems like we have a monster that eats dustpans and brushes. Granted, the last one I bought, I've just used to clean out the tortoises. So that is now their dustpan and brush. So I needed a new one for cleaning around the house. Chloe's always got one for the guinea pigs to clean out their hutch. I've got one for my tortoises. And then I've got one for the house. But I just don't know where all the other ones go. So that's going to be going in the utility room. Then we have something else Chloe picked up. Which are these acrylic paint markers because Chloe is my little artist and she loves painting and decorating onto CDs and vinyls and DVDs and everything like that. She has beautiful artwork and um, she wanted these because it's easier to write with these if you want fine lines and writing. So she's got them. As well as what else she got. This should be a Chloe haul, shouldn't it? I should get her to do this. Some paper pads. I have tons and tons of this stuff up in the loft from when I done my planner stuff and arts and crafts stuff. I said, just get up in the loft and get my stuff down and you can take what you want from it. Oh, but mum, they don't have those pretty designs. Oh, sorry, you don't have these pretty designs. These are gorgeous. Look, mum, look. So <laughs> she's chose them. And then these ones as well. They had bigger pads. These are six by six. And you get two sheets of each design. There's 10 designs, so there's 20 sheets in a pad. Really good there. 
and like I said you could get the matching 12 by 12s as well and then we have normal knickknacks which are nice and spicy I didn't know they were in there I tell you I, I push the trolley round but I don't know half the stuff that goes in it they just throw it all in as I'm pushing it um, Steve picked up these triple milk chocolate boxes biscuits so I'll put them in his goodie box in the cupboard then he put some tea gel in the trolley I told him about um, putting tea tree drops or aloe vera drops in his head as well like instead of this a few drops like a couple of you subscribers have said to do but he said he's just going to stick with this I'm afraid so thank you very much for all your kind comments on how to get rid of psoriasis in the scalp or whatever but he's just going to stick with that always sticking with how he wants to go um a money tin for me it's a gorgeous design i'm just saving all my pennies and everything for a rainy day i don't know something big might be coming up very shortly and um i'm just saving every penny that i can you know like when you have loose change in your purse and i'm just sticking it in a pot and um that pot's very full or nearly very full so i needed another one so um exciting times are a coming prick sticks as if Hayley never brings home enough prick sticks chloe wanted the legit prits prick sticks three medium prick sticks for college Hayley will probably end up running off with one of them needed some more sponges to do some washing up with and wipe the sides down Steve put this in the trolley it is ready to use all-purpose filler to fill some um, holes that are around the house and a bit of damage that the cat has done hey Marla by the bathroom yeah I see you looking she's sitting there wagging her towel at me there we go so that is it as well as I think he put some yeah some scrapers in here as well so he can crack on and do that this weekend he can do some patchwork we have some Jordan's fru Fruzilli cereal bars. Chloe likes them, so they're going to go in the breakfast on the go basket. This on my breakfast bar. Okay. Link's deodorant. Steve put that in there. That is the Link Black. I prefer Africa, but that one's quite nice as well. Then, if anyone likes microwave popcorn, okay. Did I only get three up? That's not a problem. Right? If you like sweetie, sweet, then I really do recommend this caramel one, okay? I've got four of them, because it's four for a pound. You can get sweet, salty, or this one. And I bought some of this a while back and I forgot it was in my cupboard. And it was about eight o'clock at night. I was in bed watching um, Yellow Yellowstone with Steve and I wanted something crunchy to eat. There was no crisps I liked. So I went in the cupboard, have, had a rummage and I found some of this. And I popped it and oh my God, it was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And then, <laughs> as soon as I was putting it in the bowl, Shane wandered out of his room and he's like, what is that smell? I was like, popcorn. So he grabbed the last one out of the cupboard and he had some popcorn as well. So um, there's a long story that you didn't really need to know, but I thought I'd fill you in. Try the caramel popcorn from Home Bargains. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Then, what else? I'm going to empty the bag out of these rather than be rummaging now. Last few items. We have one, two, let's try it on four, three, four, five rolls of brown parcel tape for packing. Yep, I've got loads still from off our move here, but I'm not going to have enough. 
So I need to do some more. Can you guess? We are moving soon. We've got a house. We are moving soon. There'll be an update on it coming. So just stay posted for that. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. There will be a lot of moving content, a house tour, lots of updates and all that lot. So if you're really interested, hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss out on any upcoming videos. And then don't forget, don't forget to hit that notification bell either. Okay. So along with the brown tape, I got one set of sellotape for Christmas wrapping paper because obviously you've got lots of presents and so that I can label my boxes so I know what is in the boxes and what room they need to go in when people move my boxes. And then, last but not least, I'm excited, I got some squishies because squishies are like my favourite sweet at the moment and I kind of like doing a squishy pick a mix or what people are doing at the moment are like a sweetie salad. Okay, so I sort of do a squishy sweetie salad in a pot and then I just take what I want. And I like all the different flavours. And before I went here to Home Bargains, I went to Asda and I managed to find something. So me being OCD, possible ADHD, I had to have all the other flavours to go alongside with it so that I could mix them all up. So, when I was in Home Bargains, I got two of the original drumstick flavour, one of the apple, two of the bubblegum flavour, one of the gorgeous strawberry and cream flavour, and then two of the ones that I didn't originally like, but the flavour has really grown on me now, and I really quite like it. The Minion Banana and Blueberry flavour. I do have in the cupboard some Dib Dab flavoured ones that I got from Co-op, which is great. So I'm just going to put them all in a bowl, mix them up. But the thing I got before I went to Home Bargain, I managed to get my hand on the Cherry Cola flavour squishies. I've not tried them yet and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna, after I've recorded this, I'm going to get a big bowl. I'm gonna pour them all into it. I'm gonna mix them all up and then I'm gonna put them in a jar and then they're gonna go beside my bed for when I'm in bed at night time watching Yellowstone. So how sad and simple am I to please? Give me some squishies and I'm a happy mum. So um, there's my squishies and all that lot. So um, that is everything that I bought from Home Bargains. Like I said in the video, if you like this video and um, like shopping hauls, meals of the week, um, and a lot of content coming up in future about moving and day-to-day -day life, days in the life and life content, then please consider subscribing. It really does help my channel out. It doesn't cost you a single thing and then if you do decide to subscribe, if you hit that notification bell that's next to it, YouTube will tell you every time I upload a new video. And then you can choose whether you want to watch that video or whether it's not really up, really your kind of thing. But then it gives you the opportunity to choose. Same as if you do like any of my videos, please hit thumbs up button because again, it tells YouTube that you like what I do and YouTube will then help promote my channel so that I can reach future subscribers that don't know I'm here. So, um, hello Marla baby. Marla's here. Say, say hello Marla. This is my little fluffy muffy Marla. There we go. Mwah. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna let this lot put away, give Chloe her stuff, and then I'm gonna crack on with some more housework. So, take care guys, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.